in the uh, early 70s, George Harrison uh, was very kind. He was very interested in, and still, till, his, till he passed away, in this philosophy. Um, and he uh, gave a big temple in Watford to, to the devotees here. And I, uh, that was around the same time that His Holiness Vishnu Swami also connected with the movement. And till this very day, he's uh, dedicated uh, like a monk, traveling around the world and um, teaching people and helping people to to learn more about this philosophy. So can you please give him a warm uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, at the same time, we'll be getting our instruments and our microphones set up for our uh, Hare Krishna chanting. So if all the devotees can come up on stage and help out. Thank you. This means that the disciple feels he must offer his respects to his spiritual master who has opened his eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. So this knowledge, which Prabhupada was speaking so confidently, is coming down by what is called disciplic succession or Guru Parampara, like, how do you say, from master to disciple, master to disciple. Just like a mango in India is passed down carefully from one hand to another hand and to another hand to the market. Because it's a very valuable thing. So similarly, this knowledge has been passed down to the present day, unchanged. What Sri Prabhupada was saying was nothing of his own concoction or of his own invention, but it's simply what he heard presented in his own words, according to the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita and of course the Bible, the Quran and so on. The teachings are unchanged. So in the present day, even though my spiritual master is no longer personally on the planet, we can connect with this Guru Parampara, this disciplic succession, still. Just like we can plug in to the powerhouse in any village, in any town, in England, different, you know, the power grid. So the power grid of transcendental knowledge is available for everyone. Now we have a chance, Prabhupada would always say, now we have a chance, my Guru Maharaj, my spiritual master, we call Prabhupada. Now we have a chance in this human life to connect with a disciplic succession or a spiritual master. The Bhagavad Gita says, Tad viti prani patena pari prashnena sevaya upadekshanti dekhyana now we have this human form of life, we should just try and find a spiritual master. So we hope that some of you, all of you I hope, will want to try and connect with Srila Prabhupada. We are only his disciple, all of us, some of us, a disciple of a disciple or a disciple of a disciple. But the connection is there. If we submissively hear this message of Bhagavad Gita, we try this process of chanting, we try this process of Bhakti Yoga, then we will feel this current of spiritual knowledge awakening within our heart. The Vedic scriptures say, Nitya Bhakti, this love of God is already there, but it's covered. And this process of chanting and dancing and singing, which we're going to do, cleanses the heart of all the dust accumulated for years together. So we'd like you to all please try this and uh, feel this connection with Srila Prabhupada, with Krishna, with all living beings in all species of life and enjoy this chanting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, uh, is uh, Vaughn there for the harmony? <coughs> Come on.
Does everybody know the uh, Hare Krishna mantra? It's, it's fairly easy. It's, uh, let's just do it once together, so then you can uh, sort of join in. So if you could just say after me, Hare Krishna. You're a real guy, lot. A little bit, a little bit louder. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Rama, Rama. Rama, Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Okay, thank you very much. And over to you, Greg.
Yeah.